Shadow Run Returns has, well, actually returned with a new expansion called Shadow Run Dragonfall. This expansion comes in the form of DLC and does require the original game. It supposedly features a new full-length campaign, various new items and features for the game editor, and a number of other small bits and pieces, but is it worth it? Back in 2013, I thoroughly enjoyed the campaign of Shadowrun Returns, called the Deadman Switch, but it did have some crucial flaws. The game felt very linear and on reels, the AI wasn't the best at times, and of course, perhaps most important of all, there was no manual save system. Well, the latter part has certainly been resolved, you now have full power of when and when not to save. Granted, this comes in the form of a patch and doesn't actually require Dragonfall. It's worth mentioning though, as this seemingly tiny quality of life edition can make the game feel so much less tedious. More importantly, there is an all-new campaign. Of course, I quickly recreated my fantastic elven shaman who, in a world filled with guns and supremely advanced technology, doesn't seem any less out of place when he summons spirits from trash cans. The campaign of Dragonfall takes place in Germany, more specifically Berlin, and should take you roughly 12 to 15 hours to complete. Visually, Berlin looks just as fantastic as the original locations did in the Deadman Switch, though the streets do feel more occupied and lively. Different to the Deadman Switch is that you now control your own team, not just mercenaries, which does a lot to improve the storyline. You start as a newcomer to the team and, well, unsurprisingly, your first milk run doesn't end up nearly as well as you had hoped. It then quickly becomes up to you to lead the team and that means mainly killing everything that stands in your way. Although you can still hire Shadowrunners, the free party members all have their own outlook and backstory, making you feel much more connected to what is going on within the story. In addition, each one of them have quite lengthy backgrounds that you can talk to them about, if you are so inclined. The dialogue is then still well written, resulting in a team of Shadowrunners that you actually care about. Unfortunately, you have little control over how they develop throughout the game in terms of gameplay. You can't level them up or give them specific skills or gear, meaning your control of this team is really just limited to the story aspects of the game, which can result in them being less than ideal for your party composition. In addition, you can't control them during non-combat scenarios, meaning that it is not possible to position them when you are about to go into combat, a small level of tactical depth that would have been welcome. That being said, you can often, although it is certainly inconsistent at times, use their skills such as, say, decking, when your main character is unable to. The main benefit to this campaign, though, is the way that it is structured. It allows for a lot more freedom. The Deadman Switch was incredibly limited in its design when it comes to allowing you to go your own way, and Dragonfall luckily vastly improves upon this structure, giving you at least a good false sense of it being an open world. Shortly into the campaign, the reins are handed to you, and you get to decide between a small set of side quests and bigger main quests that you don't necessarily have to complete. Although there aren't that many, it certainly gives you more options and breaks that confined sense of linearity that the Deadman Switch had. This, too, is improved during the actual missions, as you are granted significantly more choice in dialogue, giving you more control in how the narrative actually plays out. Suffice to say, the Dragonfall campaign is far better structured than the original, which makes it significantly more enjoyable. In the end, Shadowrun Dragonfall isn't going to convert anyone that didn't already enjoy the original. It just doesn't bring enough to the table for those that didn't enjoy Shadowrun Returns. But if, like me, you did have a good time with the Deadman Switch, then you'll definitely want to look at Dragonfall. Containing a small amount of new weaponry and enemies, the main selling point truly is the new full-length campaign. The dialogue is once again excellent, and this time you'll actually have a small team of individuals that you learn more about and feel more involved with. It is only unfortunate that you cannot customize them to the same lengths as you can with your main character. The actual campaign has a much better structure, and although of course not nearly an open world RPG, it breaks away from the linearity the original suffered so much from. If you were itching to get back into the tech meets magic world of Shadowrun, then Dragonfall is sure to be a highly enjoyable new campaign. Shadowrun Dragonfall gets a 7 out of 10.